the tenth of every month is a hard day and emotionally to get through. Every holiday, birthday, anniversary, and family gathering, we are missing him. Tony looked forward to walking our daughter down the aisle at her wedding last year, but he wasn't there. Tony won't see his son get married someday and watch him become a father. I miss slow dancing in the kitchen with him while we cook dinner. I miss him singing to me. I miss his humor and his laughter. I miss being able to lean on him emotionally when I'm sad or frustrated. I miss him bringing me flowers just because. I will not be able to travel and see the world with him beside me. I will not get to grow old with him. I have trouble falling asleep because he's not there beside me. I am now a widow and alone. Eric's world revolved around his daughters and I. We traveled a lot as a family and made a lot of memories along the way. Memories I pray our girls carry with them forever. The first funeral they have ever attended was their father's. Elena won't haunt any longer because that's something she did with Eric and all three can't hear bagpipes without breaking down. The girls to this day will call his cell phone to hear his voice on the voicemail because that's the only thing that brings them comfort. They will text him to wish him happy birthday or simply tell them about their day. They so badly want him back home to tuck them in at night or to watch movies together as a family. How do you fix that? The answer is you really truly can't, but I'm trying my best and so are our girls. The anger and sadness sets in when Ella, our youngest, had to have a few friends and officers take her to her first student of the month breakfast in kindergarten a couple months after Eric was killed because he wasn't alive to take her. Something that she told me wasn't fair because daddy got to go for the other two. She had an entourage of officers for her first day of first grade because that's what her blue family would do and they will do anything to see her smile even if for a mere second. My husband died a hero that day. I'm proud that he walked in with his head held high and saved Candace and her daughter because he took an oath to serve and protect and he died that day doing just that.